Uh, let's give me a demonstration for the uh, next steps of the um, uh, logo project that we're working on. All right, so uh, the assignment that I'm gonna give you that will you know be where the demonstration video is and all the resources and, th and things, um, uh, it will be on there. Now, when you um, go to the assignment, I haven't made the assignment yet, you're gonna click on a Google Drive link and um, it's going to leave you to one of these folders, uh, 1B4A. Um, you guys won't see like this part of the assignment though, but um, I'm going to make a Google Drive folder. And each of your, you know, there's going to be different files and it's going to have people's names on it. So I'm going to put your first and last name for, you know, each of your files. So I'm going to say this one, Mr. Juan. So what you got to do though is you're going to go to the Google Drive folder and then download your image. So. Um, I'm going to be taking photos of everyone's um, drawing sketches they worked on. So you'll have all five of your ideas on here. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to just like choose one of those ideas to do as like your final. So uh, you click on the image in Google Drive, download it onto your um, iMac computers. So that way you have access to the um, you know, drawings that you guys worked on. Okay, so you know, next step is just going to open up Adobe Illustrator. And you'll click on files. So I'm trying to think of how to open the files here. So usually like the way I do it, and there's obviously different ways you can do it. You can go to the finder to find your drawing that you did. It should be under downloads. So you go to downloads over here. So I just like to just click and drag this down to the AI program. So you click and drag it to the AI program. It will um, upload the image of the file for you. So now this image is like really, really big. So, um, you know, one thing you can do is you can just make this image smaller. And if you're gonna make it smaller, I would just, uh, you know, hold the shift key to make it smaller so it fits in the box here. Um, my suggestion is you can also do it this way too. I don't think it matters either or way that you choose. Um, actually, let's do it the other way. So. Uh, yeah, click click and hold the shift button, make it smaller, just so it fits in the page that you're working on. So it gives you like a default page to work on. Um, I'm not sure of the dimensions of this page. Let me just save this. So file, save as, so, you know, just save your work. I'm done with this, so we'll call it um, logo design. I would save it in downloads, it's fine. You guys all have your separate accounts, so it shouldn't be a big deal. So if we close this and reopen it again. So I was just kind of curious of the size. Um, file info, there we go. Okay, I mean, it doesn't really matter too much because Illustrator, you can always resize your images. Um, but all right, so, okay, we have our images on here. So um, we're gonna lock this layer and we'll just call it the um, drawing layer. So you can just double click on layer one to pull, you know, change it to drawing. Um, you don't have this layers when you can go to Windows layers to pop that up. Um, or you do Windows workspace. Uh, I usually like to keep it photography, typography. <laughs> Um, we can close the other stuff. So yeah, so we have like a drawing layer, and then you just want to make a new layer on top of it. So this could be your um, we'll call it we'll call this photo actually. So double click on the name called photo, and then this would be your layer that you do your drawing in. Okay, all right. But the same thing like we done before. You're gonna use the pen tool. So you know just make sure your stroke is on the black. Um, you can you know, cross out the white so you don't have a fill. And all we're doing right now is just tracing the outlines of our drawing. Okay, so I'm actually, you know, so just choose one of the logos to go with. Um, you know, who knows, if you have time, you can do two logos if you wanted to. Uh, I'm gonna focus on this one right here with the um, tie. So, okay, this looks pretty good right here. So all I'm doing is just tracing this drawing. Um, so even better if you can just like trace the whole shape of the drawing. So for example, um, you know, you can start anywhere that you want. So um, I can start down here, just a click, you know, the first point, click and drag. So you got to use like what you've learned in the pencil exercises to do your drawing. So, okay, and I would just trace the drawing. So there's like a couple different ways you can go about with tracing the um, drawing. Um, 
And for the purposes of this assignment, though, it just might be easier just to trace what, what's exactly in the picture. So I just kind of did this, you know, line here first. And then, you know, just remember you do Command-Shift-A to, you know, reset your lines. So, you know, we're just strictly just outlining the um, letters. Um, now, there is a more ideal way of tracing the shapes or um, letters or things that you're doing. Uh, but, you know, you could do that a little bit later if you want to be more advanced. But right now, we're just kind of just tracing the drawing. So, you know, so I'm using, like, Command-Shift-A to reset my drawing. And then just drawing what we see here. So you might have to make some slight modifications to the drawing. So, for example, here, you like, you see, like, this line here I drew? It doesn't, like, finish that line there. So one of the things you could do is you can actually use this direct selection tool. And if you want, you can click on the point and then drag the point to kind of move those lines around. You know, so you want to be nitpicky, fix things, and then just continue that line. So right now we're just outlining the drawing. Um, there's going to be a point where you're going you're gonna to have to re-outline it again and color it in. But you know, I'll explain that a little bit later. Uh, you know, just for now though, you're just tracing the drawing. Okay, and then try to use as few, you know, anchor points when you're doing the drawing because you know the less lines you have, the, the cleaner the drawing will look. And then if you notice, there's some instances where you can make it into like one shape. You know, we can kind of just connect these two together just to finalize the shape. So, you know, it may not be an instance for like all your drawings, but you know, if I wanted to, you know, let's just say like just make this into like a gray smoke. You know, we can flip the color, change it to gray. You know, you can even add like a gradient to it if you wanted to. You know, we can do that stuff later and like, you know, just like click, click on the button, you know, to do your drawing. All right. So all you're doing is just tracing the drawing. You know, just take your time with it. If you have a hard time seeing like your pencil marks, which I don't think you will because usually the pencil's gonna show up gray. You can change the color too. And you know, you don't have to trace the drawing exactly. You know, if you feel like, like oh, maybe I might wanna make the curve a little bit more over here like this, I, you know, that's fine. Uh, you know, if you have like a really nice drawing, you probably want to keep it close to like what it's on there. But you know, definitely feel like you know if you have some artistic decisions or things you want to change, you can do that. So, and then if you want to check on your progress, um, you know, one thing that's nice when we separate the layers is you can just kind of click on the this to see how it looks. All right. So just trace the entire drawings. Um, you know, maybe in like a later video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add like text and words. If you wanted to, you know, modify some of the strokes of the lines, you know, we can do that. Hi, Mr. Wan. Hello. Oh, give me one second. Oh, 